Great to have you joining us in today's Faith Lift video. I had a family member who, who had this, this car which they really loved. It was a two-tone car, so the bottom was white and the top was blue. It wasn't the newest car, but it was their, their favorite, uh, their pride and joy. I remember the one day he, he got some rubbing compound and he decided, hey, he wants to make the car kind of it was looking a bit dull. He wanted to make it shine again, make it look like brand new. I remember him spending days with this rubbing compound, putting it on and rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it. Rubbing it. Uh, after a few days, he just wondered why it wasn't coming out shinier. So he, he rubbed it some more and rubbed it some more. And eventually, when he got down to the bare metal, he realized he had rubbed right through the top coat, and which made it look even duller and was getting right down to the actual metal, wearing off the paint that was underneath. He had the zeal uh, to get the shine of it off. And I remember having to spray paint the car. It then became a, a three-tone car. with this white at the bottom and these different shades of blue on the bonnet as he tried to cover up his error. But in such zeal to get the shine, he actually wore it off. He wanted to renew what was dull and dreary uh, and to make it look new again. And so he's using this rubbing compound. And really, I just want to ask this question of you today. What, what renews you? What revitalizes your life? It doesn't have to be something huge and uh, kind of, you know, taking a car and trying to restore the entire thing, trying to rub the entire thing down. But even in our lives, what are some of the small things that can just make a difference to renew you, to make you feel energized? Uh, maybe it's a, something small like a cup of coffee and a bit of time out uh, after a hectic day. Or well, maybe a date night with your spouse. My wife says that to me every single time we come back from a date night. She says, you know, it was just, it was just so needed. Just a, a pause from the routine and, and craziness of, of our lives at times. What are the things that truly renew you? Refresh your spirit, your heart, your soul. And give you a new step, a new outlook on life. Romans 12 verse 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world. And I spoke on that yesterday about mimicking. Now sometimes we can get in transformed and almost mimic the world around us, uh, the pattern that it forces us into. And this is based on what I preached on Sundays. We've been uh, looking at Nehemiah and rebuilding hope. But the second part of that of Romans 12 verse 2 says, But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. See, God's word needs to be a, a daily rubbing compound where we, we rub it over our lives so that it can transform us, uh, where we can learn about who He is and put it into action, that when we transform by God's Word, our thinking renews itself. Uh, our lives take on a whole new focus and a new way of how we operate. See, God's Word, is this is the key thing, it renews you, makes you into what you should be. Helps you to see the, the joy of life. It gives you a different view on the circumstances or the challenges that you're facing. It helps you to hear the needs of others instead of always looking at your needs and your wants. What it does is it rubs off the dull luster of life and reveals what you were made to shine for. And so the question today, is God's word a daily rubbing compound on your life? Because that's how renewal starts. Let's pray. Lord, just thank you for that, that promise that as we're transformed by you, so our mind is renewed. We look at things differently. We act differently. We speak differently. We, the rough edges, those things which we're so ashamed of, those dull things, you rub on them and you, and you smoothen them out and you bring to light that what you made us to be. And so Lord, help us to do that today with your word. May it be a daily rubbing compound that brings back to life what our intent and purposes. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great Wednesday, everyone.